Good morning children. Today we start a new section from chapter 8 decimals. The new section is hundreds place. Do you know what is hundreds place? Yes. Look at the place value table. In the table, the second place after the decimal is the hundreds place. It can be denoted as 1 by 100. You already learned that the first place after decimal is tens. Then second place after decimal is the hundreds place. Consider the example 123.78. Here the first digit 1 indicates hundreds place. 2 is in the tens place. 3 is in the ones place then decimal point first digit after decimal point is 7 we know that this 7 is in tens place next 8 8 is in hundreds place hundreds place means 1 by 100 now we can start exercise 8.2 first question Complete the table with the help of these boxes and use decimals to write the number. Question A. Here in this question, this box is not completely shaded. So, in the ones place we write zero. And this box containing two hundred columns, hundred squares. Out of this hundred squares. 26 are shaded so here in the tens place you write 2 because here two tens and in the hundreds place you write 6 so the number is 0.26 because in the whole number part zero comes so you write zero then tens and the hundreds place So we put decimal, then write two six. Hence the number is zero point two six. Next question B. Here this box is completely shaded. So in ones place we can write one. But in next box, thirty eight parts are shaded out of hundred. So tens place we write three. And the hundred place we write eight. So the number is one point three eight. Next question C. Here also this box is completely shaded. So we write one. That is hundred out of hundred is shaded. Next only twenty eight parts out of hundred square shaded. So we write two eight here. So the number is one point two eight. Second question: Write the numbers given in the following place value table in decimal form. Here you are given a place value table, and it has certain numbers. Here, your question is to write that numbers in decimal form. Consider question A. Here in the hundreds place, no number is there. Only zero. Tens place also no number. But in ones place three is there. So in the whole number part you write three. Next tenth place, hundreds place, and thousand place comes. So after ones place you put decimal. Then write two from tens place. Then five from hundreds place. But in thousands place no. Number is there, so you put zero. So first decimal number is three point two five zero. Look at question B here. Hundreds place one is there, so you write one, then zero. Next two from ones place. After ones place you put decimal, then write tens, hundreds, and thousands place respectively. That is six. Three zero, six three zero. 
So the number is 102.630. Question C also. You write the numbers up to one's place. So you write 3, 0. This 0 comes in the left side of Decimal the point. No value. So we need not write. It is not important to write that 0. Then put decimal. Hence it becomes 30.025. Next question D. Here also you write the digits up to one's place. That is 2, 1, 1. Then put decimal. Then write the digit from 10th place, 100th place and 1000th place. That is 902. So we read this number as 211.902. Similarly, question E also you write 1, 2, then put decimal, then write 2, 4, 1. We read this decimal number as 12.241. Here also it is not important to write the 0 left side to this one because the 0 comes on the left side of a number has no value. Third question. Write the following decimals in the place value table. First decimal number is 0 0.29. Here 0 is in the whole number part. So we can put zeros in hundreds, tens and ones place. Next 2. 2 comes after decimal point. And also 2 is first digit after decimal point. So, we write 2 in the tens place and 9 in the hundreds place. No digit in the thousands place. So, we put 0. Next question B. 2.08. Here, 2 is a whole number and it is a in ones place. So, we write 2 in the ones place and put zeros in hundreds and tens place. Next after decimal point, the zero comes. So, in tens place, we put zero. And we write eight in hundreds place. Since no digit in thousands place, we put zero there. Next question C, 19.60. Here, no digit in hundreds place. So, first in hundreds place, we put zero. Then one in the tens place, 9 in ones place, then 6 0 comes after decimal. So we write 6 in tens place and 0 in hundreds place. Here also no digit in thousands place. So we put 0. Next question D. 148.32. Here 100 means 1 in the hundreds place. 4 in tens place, 8 in ones place. And 3 comes after decimal. So we write 3 in the tens place, then 2 in hundreds place, and 0 in the thousands place. Next question E 200.812. First we write 2 in hundreds place, then 0 in tens place. Again 0 in 1's place and 8 in 10's place, 1 in 100's place and 2 in 1000's place. Next fourth question. Write each of the following as decimals. Consider question A. 20 plus 9 plus 4 by 10 plus 1 by 100. 20 means this 2 is in 10's place. So, in order to write this number, first you write 2. This 2 is in tens place. Next in the right side, which place comes? That is ones place. So, this 9 can be written in the ones place. Then put decimal because 4 by 10 means this 4 is in tenth place. You know that tenth place comes after decimal. 
So just after decimal you write 4. Then write 100th place. Here 1 comes in the 100th place. So the decimal number is 29.41. Next question B. 137 plus 5 by 100. That means 1, 137 is a whole number. So we write 137. Then put decimal. Next digit after the decimal is 10th place. But here no number in the 10th place. So we write a 0 here. Then next write digit in the 100th place. Here 5 is in 100th place. So here write 5 by 100. We can write 5 here. So the number is 137.05. Next consider question C. Here 7 by 10 is the first number. 7 by 10 means this 7 is in the 10th place. We know that 10th place comes after decimal. So first we put decimal. Then write 7. Next 100th place. That is, we can write 6 here. Next in the 1000th place, 4 comes. We know that it is, we can't write decimal first. Before decimal, we put a 0. So, our answer is 0 0.764. Next question, 23. So, we write 23. Then put decimal. Then write this 2 in the 10th place. Here no 100th place. So we put 0 here. Then write 6 in 1000th place. So the number is 23.206. Next question. 700 plus 20 plus 5. You know that 700 means 7 is in the hundreds place. So we write 7. Then in tens place we write 2. And in ones place we write 5. Then put decimal. Here no digits corresponding to tens, tens place. So we put 0. Then write 9 in the hundreds place. So our answer is 725.09 Seventh question. Write as fractions in lowest terms. You are given certain decimal numbers. First you convert the decimal numbers into fractional form. After that convert that fractions into its lowest terms. That means simplest form. Question E. 0.25 Our question is to write this decimal number in fractional form. Then convert it into its lowest form. For that, first we convert this decimal number into its fractional form. We know that here, after the decimal point, two digits are here. So, first we write this number without decimal point. Then it becomes 25. Then in the denominator we write 100. Because here 2 digits after decimal. So, we write 100 in the denominator. If here 3 digits after decimal point we write 1000. If here only 1 digit we write 10. Next Part of the question is convert this into its lowest form or write the simplest form of this fraction 25 by 100. We know that both 25 and 100 are divisible by 5 because we know that the numbers ending with the 5 and 0 are divisible by 5. So first we can divide this by 5. Since 5 5s are 25, we write 5 here. 
Next, we cut this 100. We know that 5 is not contained in this 1. So, we take next digit also. Then it becomes 10. 5 2s are 10. So, we write 2 here and this 0 again here you write. Now also both these numbers are divisible by 5. So, we can divide it by 5. Since 1 5 is 5, we cut this 5 and write 1. Here 5 4s are 20. So, we write 4 here. So, simplest form of this fraction 25 by 100 is 1 by 4. And F 0 0.125. Here also, first we convert this decimal number into fractional form. For that, we write this number without decimal point. Then it becomes 125. Then in the denominator, we write 1 and put 3 zeros. What is the reason? Yes, here 3 digit after decimal point. So, we write 3 zeros in the denominator. Next, we can convert this into simplest form. For that, we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5. Consider first two digits. Since 5 twos are 10, we write 2. But this is 12. 5 twos are 10 only. But here we have 12. So we write the remainder 2 in the left of this 5. Then this 5 becomes 25. Since 5 5s are 25, we write 5 here. So, when we divide 125 by 5, we get 25. Similarly, we divide the denominator also with the 5. Since 5 2s are 10, we write 2. Then we write that remaining zeros. Again, these numbers are divisible by 5. Since 5 5s are 25, we write 5. Next, 5 4s are 20. We write 4 here and then write 0. Again, this 5 and 40 are divisible by 5. So, we divide this 5. For that, we cut 5 and write 1 because 1 5 is 5. Next, 8 5s are 40. So, we write 8 here. So, our answer is 1 by 8. Hence, the simplest form of the decimal number 0 0.125 is 1 by 8. Here also in order to convert this decimal number into fractional form, first we write the numbers without decimal point. So first write 66, then write the denominator 1000. Because here the decimal after decimal 3 digits are so, we write 3 zeros in the denominator. Next, we can convert this into its simplest form. We know that both 66 and 1000 are divisible by 2. Because the numbers ending with the 0, the numbers ending with the 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8 are divisible by 2. So, this 66 and 1000 are divisible by 2. First, we can divide this 66 by 2. For consider the first digit 6. Since 3 2s are 6, we write 3 here. Again, 3 2s are 6, we write 3 here. Next, we can divide the denominator. Since 5 2s are 10, we write 5. Then write both zeros near 5. Now, this fraction is in its simplest form. That is 33 by 500. That is the answer. Thank you children. Have a nice day.